Diabetes is one of the most common systemic conditions that we see in America. And a lot of people like to attribute it to poor diet, lack of exercise, not drinking enough water, just an unhealthy lifestyle in general. And why this definitely doesn't help diabetes, um, what we found is with upper cervical chiropractic care, we are able to really help take care of this. And a big reason is because new research tells us that diabetes a lot of times is attributed to a problem with the nervous system. And so we're able to help take care of patients by taking care of their nervous system, not only help their diabetic symptoms, but a lot of times they're able to get off their insulin, get off their neurotin, the things that kind of help these patients produce the insulin they need to. Hi, I'm Dr. Zach Shaw with the Upper Cervical Spine Center. If, you're, if you have diabetes, like many millions of Americans do, it's a good time to check out an upper cervical chiropractor, and here is why. We know that every single organ, cell, tissue, muscle in your body is controlled by the brain. So how does this work with the pancreas, which is the organ that produces insulin that helps keep diabetes away? Well, basically when you eat something, it goes into your stomach, and the stomach will tell the brain, hey, there's sugar in me. The brain says, okay, we need to prep the pancreas. And so the brain talks to the pancreas, says, hey, sugar's coming into the blood. You need to start producing insulin. And the whole point of that insulin is to trap that sugar up and take it to other parts of your body for energy. The brain needs a lot. The muscles need it. Liver stores it. And so this happens. In a normal person, insulin's released. It traps up the sugar. Everything's good. Normal blood sugar level. However, in someone with diabetes, what we found in this office is there's a misalignment at the top of the neck and it's putting pressure on the brain stem. Now the brain can't communicate to the rest of the body like it should. So everything's the same, you eat something, the food goes into your stomach, the stomach tells the brain, hey, there's sugar in me, and the brain tells the pancreas, hey, we need to start prepping for the sugar to be in the blood, except the message is off. The brain isn't talking to the pancreas like it should, and maybe most of the time it tells it to not release enough insulin. And so the sugar gets into the bloodstream, the pancreas hasn't release, released enough insulin, and now you have high blood sugar, you start having weird symptoms over time. You may even have diabetic neuropathy, which is nerve tingling or pain into the hands, into the feet. So it makes sense that the nervous system is a big culprit for this diabetes when one of the main symptoms is a nerve problem. All we have to do is correct the top of the neck, get the brain to talk to the pancreas like it should, and we start to see the pancreas produce the correct amount of insulin. Therefore, you're not needing the insulin anymore, you're not needing the neurotin, the diabetes goes away. 